Hey guys, welcome to the newbies and welcome back to those who are returning subscribers. In today's video, I'm going to go into great detail about my current pregnant self-care pamper routine. Oh, that was a mouthful. From personal grooming and self-care to relaxation and rejuvenation, I'm going to not only show you some cool techniques you can utilize for yourself, but I'll be sharing some tips along the way that will ensure you get the most out of your stay at home. For the best weight loss, self-care, and lifestyle advice, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell to be notified whenever I post a video. So in previous videos, I've shared honest reviews and helped tons of viewers in their search of valuable supplements and self-care products. But in today's video, we're putting these self-care products in action so you can truly see for yourself the effects of a great pamper night. First, I'm gonna set the mood with putting my robe on. By doing this small step, it puts my body at ease by mentally connecting me with a more relaxed state. Second, I love to light candles. It provides a relaxing environment, and believe it or not, it's this step that mentally disconnects me from any distractions that could come my way, whether it's face-to-face -face or via phone. There's no better way to get my evening started than with some soothing music. So during this time, I love to turn on some smooth jazz. Now, I'm not exactly sure how my baby feels about this music selection, but I'm sure she's not complaining. Speaking of baby, step four calls for a nice cocktail. Well, sort of. In my case, a virgin cocktail is more suitable. So I grabbed myself a wine glass, filled it with orange juice, just so I can feel like a big girl. It's now time to run my bath. Normally, I enjoy hot steaming soap, but I don't want to disturb baby, so I'll create a lukewarm environment for her. Here's a tip for those with sensitive skin who want to enjoy a somewhat scented experience but can't do overly scented products. Try using the Dove Sensitive Skin Body Wash instead of scented bath bombs. This has a very light scent for those who can tolerate it. And for an even richer experience, sprinkle real flowers in the water. I did this because I do have sensitive skin and I'm kind of dramatic so it tends to work out. Comment below and tell me your best self-care secret. Now that I've run my bath, it's time to apply my facial mask. Before I apply this, I like to clean my face with my rose water towelette. If these look familiar, it's because I mentioned them in my last video. So if you want to see my self-care line of products that I use regularly, I've linked it for you above. Just click the card that pops up. Products that are specific to this spa night will be listed below in the comment section for you. Now, off camera, I applied some cucumber slices to my eyes and prepared myself a lovely fruit and cheese board so I can snack on. After I'm done with my relaxing bath, I take it back over to the sink where I take off my facial mask and rinse my face. I've had the mask on for about 20 minutes. Since I've applied the mask during this regimen, I don't find it necessary to follow up with my facial moisturizer. After all this love, I cannot ignore my feet. I then apply another familiar product, the Romantotherapy Body Scrub and Pomegranate Ginger. I work it into my feet for roughly about five minutes total and then rinse off. Afterwards, I apply the Dove Intensive Cream to my feet and work it in. This cream is very, very thick, so a lot of it is not needed at all. Trust me. Bonus tip, if you have really dry feet, you can use moisturizing socks instead. Alternatively, a facial mask cream can be applied to the feet. Yes, a facial mask cream followed by wrapping your feet in a damp towel or plastic wrap for about five minutes. Both are suggested to be completed following the bath. If you wanna learn more about the treatment of dry feet, I've actually linked a couple of resources below in the comment section for you. So, in step 10, I apply Palmer's Coconut Oil for stretch marks to my stretched areas. And Avena Daily Moisturizing Lotion everywhere else. Thank you. 
And no at-home spa is official without the use of smell goods. After moisturizing, I like to spritz on one of my favorite Bath & Body Works scents and voila! So now you know exactly the steps I take in my current pregnant self-care pamper routine. But what about learning more about weight loss, beauty, and self-care? Fortunately, I've created an awesome community of like-minded people who are interested in the very same things. So consider joining my Facebook group where I share up-to-date tips on how to stay motivated and sane during this crazy time. Also included are goodies on how to look and feel your best. Join the Facebook group at the link in the description below. Check out these videos next on how to work on developing your best self. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.